can I talk to y'all really briefly about a Mario and Luigi series? Ever since that Nintendo Direct, the surprise reveal, uh, I'm just flabbergasted. Because if you didn't know, that company shut down. That company filed for bankruptcy a few years ago, and it made five Mario and Luigi games. Yes, five. Not many people know about this series because when they think of Mario RPG, they think of the classic SNES and recently remade Super Mario RPG The Legend of the Seven Stars or Paper Mario, at least the oldest ones. And it's very rare to, that I bumped into people who know about the Mario and Luigi series. And when I saw some people's reaction to that game, I could understand in a way but I noticed that a few people know about this series and I'm really glad. But I wanted to take a few minutes of my day and talk about and gush about the Mario & Luigi series. Now, what is so special about the Mario & Luigi series? Well, for starters, you can play as Luigi. For a long time, ever since the Super Mario RPG, people wanted to play as Luigi. But I don't know, something about the sprite and the green coloring appeal to a lot of people and the fact that they were brothers that was cool but he did not appear in Mario's adventures and its RPG adventures he did show up in Paper Mario but he stayed in he stayed at home so when Mario and Luigi came out for the Game Boy Advance I feel like it answered the request for the few the people who wanted Luigi in Mario's RPG adventure. And boy, did it deliver. One thing that I love about the Mario and Luigi series is that the main villain is not typically Bowser. Like in the first game, it's a witch in the Bean Kingdom. The second one, I can't really say because I haven't finished it. I always start it, but never finish it. But it's time traveling. The third one, you have an adventure. <laughs> inside of Bowser's body. You travel it through his organs and all that stuff. It's pretty wacky. And I've heard it's many people's favorite. Uh, Dream Team that was in the 3DS, and actually, 10 years ago, this one, the year of Luigi, the game that came with it was Mario and Luigi Dream Team. To me, I haven't played a Mario and Luigi game since yeah wow since superstar saga which is the game boy advanced one so yeah the game the 3ds came the dream team and it's the only game i had for a while until i had i save up some money for other games and it took me a while to finish but the soundtrack boy and the art style of that game they just changed it a little bit if you look closely i find the 3ds versions mario and luigi more appealing because it's the quite vibrant but not too vibrant and it's still somewhat cartoony it looks like i'm watching a someone's painting in the frame but moving and it was very appealing by that game i found out that yoko shimamura the person who makes kingdom hearts music was also in mario and luigi she also did Super Mario RPG music, which we know and love. I don't know about Paper Mario, you can confirm that to me in the comment section, but when I found out that she was making music for all of the Mario Luigi games, I thought, okay, this is actually the spiritual successor or the sequel of the Mario Mod Super Mario RPG. But what's funny is that people did not talk about it and it's weird because the Game Boy Advance sold well a lot of people had it possibly no one got this game because they thought it was another Mario game another spin-off who can pass it over and it didn't have the, the appeal of Paper Mario which a lot of kids back in the day grew up knowing quality but for the Game Boy Advance it was mostly for Pokemon I think that's it. Any other titles I've 
possibly forgetting, but I got it mostly for Pokemon. I got it for new games like Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, Mega Man games. And yeah, that's about it. But it, it was shocking that a lot of people did not play this, especially if they were into Paper Mario. But now that we're getting the sixth installment of the Mario Luigi series, I am so excited for this franchise to be alive. I want to know who's making this. The Nintendo pick up the developers of Alpha Dream and put them in their in-house team because Alpha Dream was not really their team. It wasn't really Nintendo's dev team, their first party. It was, I believe, a third party or just an indie dev team. And I think that's the only one they were making. I could be wrong that Alpha Dream was making other games, but I knew them for Mario and Luigi. Yeah, they filed for bankruptcy and me and other people thought that we might not be seeing this series again because it's Mario. It can live off through other franchises like the sports franchise, the party franchise, the racing, Mario Kart. The main line, like, I feel like Nintendo had enough and didn't have to worry about the RPG side, especially since they thought that Paper Mario was good in their perspective, not in our perspective. I mean, but I know that Paper Mario grew some fans with Sticker Star, Color Splash, and the recent one, Origami King, but it did not have the storytelling, the characters, and the gameplay of what others grew and love about Paper Mario series and what started it all. Many of us thought that we wouldn't be seeing this game again because the only one who was making Mario and Luigi was Alpha Dream. But I'm curious, who who is making the Sixth Installment? Who's making Brothership? And I'm. And you can already see the original characters and villains. So we see Bowser and all that, but he's not going to be the main villain in there. If he is going to be the main villain, most likely be like a joke or probably just to compete with what's supposed to be the main antagonist, which is that plug-in team. I, I need to check uh, what they are. I know they're chords, the different kinds of chords and plugs. They, what? are we gonna get into? Is it gonna be the, called Electric Kingdom, Plug Kingdom? I don't know, but it looks beautiful. The art style they chose for Brothership was from the original Superstar Saga, that art style from the box art, and seeing it fleshed out and still look cartoony, it just looks beautiful. I do miss the, the art style from the 3DS era. Maybe that will go into the future. Who knows but i still love this art style the bro moves are back i i just love that it looks so much more cartoony and if you think that the paper mario series and writing is wacky crazy just buckle up it plays by its own rules and it's funny it, you'll have a good time and brothership i could see it like if it's brothership Probably we're gonna be pirates. I don't know. There's gonna be a crew of the the, the plugs. There, there's those are gonna be pirates. And Mario's gonna have it's Mario and Luigi are gonna have a ship of their own. Maybe they're gonna help help some pirates. I don't know, but I cannot wait. November seventh cannot come close enough. And this dog is can agree with me if you can hear it. Uh, but yeah, let me know. In the comment section, are you excited about this game? Did you know about the Mario Luigi series? Uh, if you're interested in knowing about this franchise, it's on the Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack on the Game Boy Advance library. Only the first one, though. The the best ones, I guess you have to get a 3DS of your own and buy the rest, which are four. But anyway, I'm gonna start rambling because it's been long enough and I have to edit this down before the hype of the Nintendo Direct dies down. So, with that said, hope you guys 
enjoyed this rambling. I hope you have a great day, afternoon, evening, weekend, whenever you see this. And until the next video, take care.